He's drawn comparisons to Benny Goodman and a pair of Grammy Awards for his mastery of the clarinet. But although he became one of the most familiar faces on the Windy City music scene, serving as principal clarinetist of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra for three decades, Combs is a West Virginia native who got his musical start as a teenage prodigy in the Charleston Symphony. Combs was born in the capital city and began his woodwind studies by age 10. Three years later, he was playing regularly with Charleston Symphony, and at 16, he became the orchestra's principal clarinetist. Fame seemed to beckon when one of Combs' teen clarinet ensembles won a spot on the network TV show, The Ted Mack Original Amateur Hour. But the group came in a presumably close second to a one-legged tap dancer. So here they are from South Charleston, West Virginia, the Clarinet Symphonette. But it wasn't until Combs spent the summer attending the National Music Camp in Michigan that he began to view music as his calling. And he decided to study under clarinetist Stanley Hastie at the Eastman School of Music in 1957. Combs' first post-graduation gig as bass clarinetist with the New Orleans Philharmonic was interrupted by military service when he was drafted. He spent three years playing with the U.S. Military Academy Band at West Point before leaving the Army, and in 1968 became principal clarinetist of the Montreal Symphony. Combs joined the Chicago Symphony in 1974, and he was named principal clarinetist in 1978 by Sir George Schulte. Over his 30-year career in Chicago, Combs made numerous notable appearances, both solo and with musical greats like Yo-Yo Ma and Wynton Marsalis. In 1995, he even appeared in Geneva as a member of the World Orchestra for Peace to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the United Nations. And Combs has been involved with several acclaimed recordings, two of which would receive Grammy Awards. A 1994 collection of Beethoven and Mozart quintets recorded with members of the Berlin Philharmonic and the Chicago Symphony, and a version of Richard Strauss's Duet Concertino, which also featured the Chicago Symphony's principal bassoon, David McGill, and won a Best Chamber Music Performance Grammy in 2002. In addition to his work with the symphony, from which he retired with honors in 2008, Combs expressed his interest in chamber music and music education by becoming a founding member of the Chicago Chamber Musicians, appearing with the Chamber Music Society of Lincoln Center and the Smithsonian Chamber Players, and serving on the faculty of DePaul University. Married to French horn player Gail Williams, also a former symphony member, Combs has created a classical music legacy that proves him to be one of the premier clarinetists of his era. Mm -hmm. 